Hello, welcome to Megor's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will review SPI 225, Specific Breaker Selection and Choker Breaker Curve Library. For this video, I'll use a 70 amps QWERTY breaker from the FH family, so I know that one is going to be in the Circuit Breaker Library. So to select the breaker, we're going to click the Circuit Breaker Curve Library button. And then we're going to tell the software we're going to select the manufacturer specific breaker. I get this screen where I get to select the breaker type from airframe or molded case. We're going to go with molded case. Then the manufacturer, as we said, is square D. And then we said it is from the FH family, which is in my library. We click on FH. And then it's a 70 amp breaker. So I get all the information filled out according to my selection. I accept my options. And the software will load the circuit breaker time current curve as you can see in the screen now. From this section of the screen, the upper right corner, I can see this particular breaker has two functions to check. The instantaneous one, which is shown with this icon, and the long time test indicated with this icon. The details on how to use the test screens will be covered in a different video. Now let's look at the library of uh, circuit breaker curves available in the software. To do that, I'll have to go to the Tools menu and then click on Curve Library. I will get presented with the Curve Library screen, where the more than 7,000 curves available can be explored. For example, I'm going to select this GE AK100 with the 1CC-3 trip unit. So here I'll be able to see which of the functions are enabled or available on this curve for this particular breaker. For example, long time doesn't have a short time does have an instantaneous and the ground function should not be in it. This concludes SPI 225, Specific Breaker Selection and Circuit Breaker Curve Library. Visit the Maker YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you might need for your electrical testing.